Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing what's for dinner. I'm just going to show you everything that we had for dinner last week. So starting with Monday, of course, we have sausages with veggies and corn and rice aroni on the side. I seasoned the corn and the veggies with this garlic and parsley mix. I think they came out really good. It was obviously pretty simple just to sprinkle this right on top of everything. Now we start making the rice aroni, which just comes from a box and nice and simple as well. Put the rice in there, then you add water and the seasoning packet and get it boiling. Stirring it up a little bit. And let's check on the veggies. And here's me going back to the trash to reread the rice aroni directions. Now sausages are going in. I put the sausages in our little convection toaster oven and that was just so I didn't have to move everything around in the oven and I just didn't feel like cooking them on top of the stove. So I put these in for 10 minutes on convection bake for um, at, a, at around 350 degrees. So 10 minutes, 350 on convection bake. And now they are about halfway done here at this point and I punctured them with a fork just so that they didn't burst, which was very hard to do with one hand. All right, veggies are out of the oven. They are looking good. So many colors there. I didn't flip the veggies at all, but I did turn the, cor the corn. All right, our rice aroni is done, and the sausage is out. So we're pretty much ready to plate this up. And here is the finished dish. It was really great. I love the colors of the veggies. I like those big, chunky veggies, and the seasoning tasted good. And of course, who doesn't like rice aroni? On to Tuesday. So it is now Tuesday, and Tuesday we had Lebanese potato salad with Denver steak and asparagus. Lebanese potato salad has tomato and parsley and spices. It's very good. So the steak I seared in cast iron, and the asparagus I also did it in cast iron with lemon and olive oil and some garlic. So you can see the sear on my steak and we're just gonna move around those asparagus a little bit. And what I did instead of cutting the ends, I peeled the ends. I saw that on a chef's Instagram, not exactly sure which one, but they said instead of cutting them off, just use a vegetable peeler and peel them and it kind of takes away some of that hard hardness of them. So this is all of the ingredients for the Lebanese potato salad in the pot. And I'm just going to mix it. In the Lebanese potato salad, it's red potatoes, parsley, mint, allspice, tomatoes, lemon, garlic, and salt and pepper. So my husband was filming me here and he was just also kind of helping me judge how much to add. So I did add some more parsley. I added some more lemon juice and I added more olive oil. There's olive oil in it as well. But still pretty standard, simple ingredients to make this potato salad. And then you just mix it all together. All right, so now everything is done. We have the Denver steak. I put a garlic compound butter on top with the asparagus and potato salad. For Wednesday, I have some pictures for you only. I was at my mother-in-law's house and she ended up making us a huge spread of kibine, tabbouleh, we had stuffed squash, grape leaves, and it was all super delicious and definitely a treat midweek. 
For Thursday, I have some very crappy Instagram photos. This actually was lunch. It was burritos with rice and beans, guac, pico de gallo. We got ceviche. There was french fries. There was chips and dip. And we were so full and had so much left over, we just ended up eating it for dinner too. So that's Thursday. And now it is finally Friday. My husband made dinner on Friday which was a lemon chicken with rice. It's chicken thighs in a lemon and olive juice with garlic and potatoes and then rice on the side. That's the whole dish. You just stick it in the oven, make the rice on the side and dinner is ready. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time.